The reason I love comprehensive planning is everything I do has multiple purposes behind it. Everything I do, I'm trying to avoid probate, have privacy, have asset protection, minimize income taxes, minimize estate taxes, facilitate succession planning, accomplish my philanthropic goals as a family. Everything I do has multiple components to why I'm trying to do that. Does that make sense? The reason why that's so important for you to understand is if you've ever been through an audit of, let's say, a family partnership, which I have, on the discounts, they want to attack you for doing something that was solely driven where the principal purpose was tax avoidance, right? How wonderful if you can say, oh, no, we did this for asset protection as well. I did this for succession planning. I did it for long-term wealth management. I did it to build a philanthropic base. To say something was solely done for tax avoidance is difficult if you've contemplated other aspects to the plan. Similarly, if you've ever dealt with a client who is being attacked for committing a fraudulent conveyance, which I've been there many times, and you've had to defend it, how great to say, oh no, we did this for tax reasons. We minimized taxes with this play. Yeah, there was an asset protection benefit, but we had a tax motive. So I always want to plan in a way that I have the best of all worlds. I can truly talk out of both sides of my mouth, depending on who's asking what question and what I'm defending.